Welcome back. We are so excited to welcome a new face to the Western <laughs> News team today. Jesse Pagan is my new co-anchor here at 5 and 10 p.m. Jesse, we are thrilled to have you. You're new to us, but not new to Central Florida. No, I'm <laughs> a local guy. Uh, you know, moved here when I was eight. Uh, went to Deltona High School in Volusia County, UF uh, for college, and it's good to be back. You're happy to be back home? I am, I am. And we're getting to learn so much about you. We know that you at home got to learn a little bit about Jesse in the last hour with Nancy at 4 o'clock, how he and his family moved to Central Florida from Puerto Rico when Jesse was eight. Now, even though this is home for Jesse, he has built quite a career as a journalist across the U.S. I found this old uh, video recording, like a home movie, of me doing the news in front of the TV. He couldn't have known it then, but that video was some serious foreshadowing. Deltona's own Jesse Pagan was bit by the news bug. I think the hurricanes back in 2004 uh, so Charlie, Jeannie, Francis, all three in a row kind of sparked an interest in like, oh my gosh, we got to watch the news. What's going on? Uh, and then it all kind of just snowballed from there. Fast forward a couple of decades, Jesse is now an award-winning journalist with two Murrow Awards, an AP Award, and two Emmy nominations. I like to be of service. Um, that's what it is for me. I like to be part of the community and, uh, you know, personally, selfishly, get to see history happen in front of my eyes, right? Be the nosy kid, be in the middle of it. But Jesse's on-air career began right here in Florida. While he was still in college, he split his time taking classes at the University of Florida. Okay. Go Gators. And reporting for a local TV station in Gainesville. It's right now, yellow tape. From there, Jesse would chase his journalism dreams to New York, Fort Myers, Columbus, Ohio, and San Diego, California. And finally, back home again. Hey, Jesse, how Hi. are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Good, welcome back to Central Florida. Thank you. Jesse has covered everything from breaking news and investigations to Hurricane Irma and the border crisis. But in California, he discovered his passion for telling the stories of his people. I created a series called Mi Gente, which means my people. Um, and it was really just an opportunity to focus on uh, just really great Latino-led organizations in the community, um, really cool Latinos doing cool things in the community, and to highlight that kind of stuff. Uh, in a market like that, a lot of the focus is on border issues, immigration issues, and while that's very important, we also had a big contingency of Latinos there. More than 35% of the community was Latino. And so we also wanted to focus on the good stuff. Jesse says being a local news reporter and anchor carries with it a responsibility beyond telling stories. And that's giving back and making our community a better place to live. In San Diego, for example, um, we did a lot with the um, food bank there. Um, I also did a lot with several different Latino organizations in town. Um, I also worked with the Pride organization in San Diego um, and hosted uh, the Pride Parade two years in a row out there. So uh, a lot of fun stuff like that. That's kind of probably one of my favorite parts of the job uh, is that um, we get to be out there and, and do some good. And Jesse's going to hit the ground running. He's doing good with me this weekend. Jesse's yes. going to be co emceeing with me mm -hmm. Second Harvest Food Bank's Ultimate Garden Party, which is obviously a cause close to my heart. Mm -hmm. and I'm so happy to have you standing up there on stage. And yeah. everyone's excited to meet you. We're really excited that you're going to be there. Uh, the excitement is mutual. <laughs> I'm very excited for it. In San Diego, it's a big issue. Homelessness and hunger is a big issue. Uh, and so there it kind of became a cause that really piqued my interest and I really got involved with. So I'm really excited to be able to continue that here at home. Yeah, I'm going to take you along with me. Yeah. I can't wait to do Let's that. Let's do it. All right, Tony.